Good morning, Super Coaches, and this Sunday review is brought to you by the Standard Squeeze. Uh, we head into the Panthers and the Knights, and this was one of those games that you really understand why we always say don't captain against the Panthers. They just kind of strangled them to death. Um, Knights put up a good fight, but unfortunately for Supercoach, that isn't very good uh, because you start to see your bigs score really well, like your Saifides, your Fre Frizzell, and your Brayleys, um, but not much else was firing. The big ones were Kalen Ponga updated to a 56 and Greg Marju to a 47, and they're probably going to be right for the picking next week. Across to the Panthers, 83% of super coaches, Captain Nathan Cleary. Um, he scored a 90, which was really good and close enough to not ruin, um, but not really advance the Val, um, the Val vice captain Lopez. Casey McLean, a popular cheapie, uh, scored a 76 and Brian Toto with a 68 and Isaac Tungo played himself back into a little bit of form, uh, with the 67. Guys, this was another one of the uh, big games of the round, and it was Doggies versus the Raiders, 22-18. Um, Stephen Crichton really stood up in this one for the Doggies, um, and they got the win, pretty much solidifying their spot in the top eight. Raiders fighting for it, didn't quite make it there, um, but for Supercoach, really good for Joey Tarpany owners. Uh, he got a 98. Um, a few of those pod hunters that were looking for a cheap hooker um, got Tom Starling in there. Um, Big Paps in his 300th game scored a 59, and KO Week's probably the only other relevant one there with a 56. Uh, for the Doggies, uh, Kickout scored a double, I think, for his 70. Um, Jacob Preston with a 65. Connor Tracy with a 61. Um, Burton with a 54, and Karaz with a 54 as well. Not hurting you, but not really advancing you if you own those couple of guys. And Sam Hughes didn't ruin Loopers uh, with a 39 there. Um, look, guys, enjoy your week, and we will see you at TLT tomorrow.